Right, yeah. So I'm uh, putting a stretch belt on a Ford Focus 1.6 2005, and the stretch belt just wants to keep pulling off this uh, pulley here for the water pump here, just because it's got such a rounded edge. As soon as you're trying to get that stretch belt on, it just wants to jump off there. So my idea is, this is just some scrap that I had lying about. It's an old, uh, old uh, crank pulley, uh, and I'm going to melt out the rubber and use this inner, inner section to create a lip. I'll show you when I've done it, but it will just create a lip that hopefully the um, uh, the belt doesn't want to jump off. Uh, so I'll show you when I've actually made the little DIY tool. You don't you don't have to use something pre-made circular like this. I just happen to have this in the scrap pile. You could get a sheet of metal and cut a circle out of it, uh, drill a couple of holes, and uh, put it on with the existing bolts for the water pump pulley. Um, but let me do this, uh, and then I'll show you what I make up to get the job done efficiently. Okie dokie, so now that I've uh, heated the rubber out of that, we're left with this inner portion, which is what I'm interested in, interested in even. And then we've got the original pulley off the water pump. And if we put that central and drill a couple of holes, we'll then be left with a lip all the way around that the belt hopefully shouldn't come off. I'm tempted, I might cut the edge of this in four places and bend around a little bit more metal so that it's got more of a face for the belt not to come off um, but that's the that and a couple of uh, drill holes and then two of them spaced out larger than the uh, the bolt heads uh, so we only have to bolt it in in two locations we don't want to use all four because then we'd have to take all four bolts out once the belt is on and this pulley would probably come off under the tension uh, so we only want to bolt it in, in two, uh, so that two remain to keep the, the original pulley where it is when we remove our tool. So I'll get on and do that now. Okay then, so that's what I ended up with. i uh, cut eight slits rather than four into the uh, folded over section of this piece of metal uh, to create more of a lip, to stop the belt from flying off. Just run the grinder on the inside of here. Uh, on these sharp edges to make sure they don't catch the belt or my hands so and then we've got two of the bolts which will be they'll actually be bolted into the water pump and then we're going to bolt the tool through the two other existing holes so that they then become what's holding the tool on temporarily then once the belt's in place we undo these two take this temporary tool that I've made away and reinstall them into the water pump proper um, yes, it's a bit barn door engineering, didn't take me very long. You can go out and buy the tool for this, but uh, I've got one type of tool, but this specific uh, engine is not liking the, the tool that I've actually got. So, you know, when you're in a fix, you've got to use your brain and get around these problems. And this is what I've come up with. So next up, I'm going to put it on the vehicle itself and see whether it actually um, does the trick of keeping that portion of the belt on that pulley whilst I get the rest of the stretch belt on. I'll, uh, I'll come back and show you. Okie doke, so here's my view from underneath the vehicle. You can see we've got the new belt on. It's all where it should be. Now the problem that you have, as you can see my, my contraption, my little uh, tool there works a treat. Uh, the problem he has is it, it wants to just fall off that pulley. So that tool there is just provides that lip so the thing can't slip off whilst you're on here turning the uh, turning the crank to get it pulled over the crank um, in order to make it move between the first and the second pulleys what I tend to use what I tend to use is a just an old drill bit it's just something to make the belt grip. So you'd put the drill bit in, like so. Oops, gone. But you get the idea. You put it in, and then you turn turn it a revolution, and it just jumps it over the, you know, jump, jumps it over the uh, the ribs and gets it into the correct position. Um, 
and I've also I've got this Sykes Pickavant tool here uh, which goes on the edge like that and then the belt sits on there and it it kind of gets gripped by the belt and, and goes it goes all the way around with the belt holding it and pulling it over onto position you don't have to use that you can try using uh like i said you can you can try the the um drill bit method um or perhaps even a, a thin long bolt uh another good one is cardboard i've used cardboard before just to create some friction between the belt and the pulley to stop the, the, the belt just sliding around on the pulley so if you put a bit of cardboard in there just creates a bit of a something for it to grab and grip onto um, but yeah my, my handmade tool work to treat all i've got to do now is undo the two bolts take that off and put the two bolts back in um, and we're uh, we're golden so yeah definitely worthwhile like i say i used what i had to hand scrap metal wise to create a solution it didn't take very long to make the thing um, certainly would have taken longer to go out and pay for um, a special tool obviously i've paid nothing for this apart from uh, just a, a little bit of um, my time in making the thing uh, and this this vehicle also had a power steering leak that's why it's quite so wet and horrible down here i have replaced the power steering pump but you, you can't really see that it's replaced it looks new ish uh, but yeah that's the reason for all this crud and nastiness um so that's it got to put the, the secondary belt on now onto the aircon and this side and we're uh, and we're golden thanks very much for uh, watching another one of my videos and i hope that has been of some use to um, somebody that's really struggling with these horrible stretch belts uh, I believe Ford have gone back away from them now. They were, I think they're a way of cost minimising stuff, trying to get rid of the tensioner, and they are absolutely awful. Um, but you can do it. you just got to have a little bit of patience and perhaps think outside the box a little bit.